Welcome to Electron Line, and here's another example of how adding a solute to a solvent can actually lower the vapor pressure of the solution. So again, starting out with, say, we have 100% solvent. At a particular temperature, we'll have a particular vapor pressure. In the case of water, the vapor pressure of water is 0 0.0121 atmospheres at 10 degrees centigrade. Now, what if we add a solute to it? Well, if we add a solute to it, it can be different kinds of solutes. We want it to be a solute that has a low volatility, meaning it does not have any appreciable vapor pressure of its own. In that case, and also a second condition is we don't want to add too much of it because it doesn't remain linear. The relationship is not really linear over the entire uh, concentration. So at a low volume, add some solute to a solvent, and a solute that is not volatile, in this case, we're going to add calcium chloride, and we dissolve 1.2 moles of that in one liter of water. So what will be the new vapor pressure in that case? And so according to Raoul's law, the new pressure is going to be equal to the original vapor pressure of the solvent times the mole fraction of the solvent. And what does that mean, the mole fraction of the solvent? It means the fraction of the solvent relative to the whole solution. So one way to figure that out is to realize that if we add the fraction of the solvent plus a fraction of the solute, we get the whole thing. So now, in order to find the new pressure, we need to find out what the mole fraction will be of the solvent in this new solution. And then we simply multiply that times the original vapor pressure of the solvent, if we have 100%, and that will then be the new vapor pressure. All right, so the job then is to figure out what the new mole fraction will be of the solvent. So, in order to do that, remember we start out with one liter of water, so let's find out how many moles that is. How many moles of water do we have when we have one liter? And so we can say that the number of moles of H2O is going to be equal to, now one liter, we can say is about one kilogram of water. So we're going to take the mass of the water, that is one kilogram of water, and divide that by the molar mass. Now the molar mass of water is roughly 18 grams. So let's just round it off to 18 grams. We have one oxygen at 16 grams and two hydrogens at one gram each. So 18 grams per mole. So it would be 0 0.018 kilograms per mole of water. And that gives us the number of moles of water. All right, so I need a calculator for that. So we take 1 divided by 0 0.018 equals, and we get 55.5 moles, 55.5 moles of water in one liter. All right, next we need to figure out how many moles of solute we're going to have. Now, if we're going to dissolve calcium chloride, that's going to separate, so we're going to end up with the following. We're going to have, so calcium chloride is going to dissolve into 1.2 moles, so one point is, we have 1.2 moles of calcium chloride, so we'll end up with 1.2 moles of uh, calcium, which is uh, plus 2, and we have 2.4 moles of chlorine. Notice that when this separates, we'll have two moles, two, twice as many moles of chlorine as we have of calcium, so 2.4 moles of chlorine, and the chlorine ion and 1.2 moles of calcium ion. So we have, we'll have a total of 3.6 moles of uh, the solute, which means that the mole fraction now of the solution, I should say the mole fraction of the solvent, so X1, which is the mole fraction of the solvent, is equal to the number of moles of the solvent, number of moles of the solvent, which is in this case water, divided by the number of moles of water plus the number of moles of solute, which of course is going to be the calcium and the chlorine. All right, if we pl plug those numbers in, this is going to be equal to 55.5 divided by 55.5 plus the total number of moles of solute, which would be 3.6 moles. And that will give us the mole fraction of the solvent water in the solution. All right, so 55.5 divided by the quantity 55.5 plus 3.6 equals, and the mole fraction is 0 0.939, 0 0.939. So now we have the mole fraction of the solvent water in the solution. Now we go ahead and plug that in here from Rule's Law. We can say, therefore, that the, um, <clears throat> the new pressure 
is going to be the mole fraction, 0 0.939, times the original vapor pressure of the solvent water at 10 degrees centigrade. So 0 0.0121 atmospheres. All right, so we multiply that fraction times 0 0.0121 equals, and we have the new pressure is equal to 0 0.0121. 1, 3, 6 atmospheres. All right, so just a straight ratio. All we do is take the original pressure of the solvent at 10 degrees centigrade and multiply it times the mole fraction of the solvent in the new solution, realizing there's 55.5 moles of water in one liter of water, and we take calcium chloride and we dissolve it, we'll end up with 1.2 moles of calcium ion, 2.4 moles of chlorine ion, a total of 3.6 moles. So that gives us a new ratio, and we plug that in here times the original pressure, and there's the partial pressure of, or the vapor pressure, I should say, of the solution when we add the calcium chloride to the water.